Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Friday! And you had a name for it, Friday Guy Day. Guy Day, Friday. Yeah, Guy, that's Guy right. Day Friday. Yeah, Susan and Charlotte are working, so they left the show in our custody. Both on assignment today. They're not just taking Groundhog Day <laughs> off like Gary did. Gary, yeah. Gary hates Groundhog Day. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Gary's actually going to the Badger hockey game tonight, so he took the day off as well. But you're going to have to walk me through this, man. I haven't done the four in quite some time, so, I, so you're going to carry best. us today. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. This will be good. Well, here's what's making news on this Friday, the warm weather. It is good news for some of us. We like to see some of that snow melt, but not not the greatest for some businesses out there. We'll explain how this meltdown is hurting the bottom line for some folks in our area. Closing arguments are underway. Jennifer Crumbly, the first parent charged in a school shooting. And Jimmy prognosticates in Sun Prairie as he does every year. We'll have his outlook for the next few weeks. Big day for Jimmy. Well, we begin our newscast with breaking news. The U.S. has launched retaliatory strikes in Iraq and Syria. Well, this after that drone strike by Iran-backed militants killed three U.S. service members in Jordan. Those strikes will likely be the start of a series of larger-scale U.S. strikes on Iranian-based militias who have carried out attacks on U.S. troops in the Middle East. The Biden administration has signaled there could be additional action in the coming days. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said yesterday the U.S. response would be, quote, multi-tiered. Earlier today, the remains of three American service members killed in Jordan returned to American soil. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden joined the families of the fallen soldiers. Land Defense Secretary Austin also was among those who attended the dignified transfer. Sergeants William Rivers, Kennedy Sanders, and Brianna Moffett were killed in that drone strike that the U.S. has blamed on those Iranian-backed militant groups. More than 40 other U.S. troops were wounded. They risked it all. And we'll never forget the sacrifices and service to our country, that the dozens of service members who were wounded and are recovering now. Well, the remains of the soldiers will travel from Dover Air Force Base to their final resting places of the three sergeants who were killed. Two of them were promoted posthumously. Oh, to our weather now, let's get a look outside. Oh, a few people are on the uh, melting lake, not people, ducks. Yeah. yeah, they're enjoying this stuff. Our weather word today, spring-like soon. Oh, it's kind of already spring-like yeah. out there, Feels Alex. Like it. it is indeed. And those ducks out there, that's about all that should be out on that ice right now. With our temperatures continuing to be mild, that ice is going to thin out and thin out and thin out. And you want spring-like temperatures? I got them for you here in the forecast. Just look at those highs by the time we get into the middle of next week, approaching 50, if not going north of 50, 53 right now we're forecasting for Thursday. And then as we tumble down towards next weekend, I want to call out really clearly next weekend highs in the upper 30s to right around 40. That's still 10 degrees above normal. We've got temperatures in the middle 30s right now here in Dane County. We're cracking just a couple of peaks of the sun as we speak right now here on the patio. 35 in Madison, 34 in Lone Rock, and 37 down in Janesville. Plan in the evening, few breaks in the skies, temperatures falling down into the upper 20s. Do you want to call out we could be looking at a little bit of patchy fog out there. We're kind of used to that. We've been having that pretty much every morning as we go overnight and into your Saturday, but that will bring Turn off quickly, making for a very mild Saturday. We'll show you just how mild again and coming up in Maine weather. Now, I'm out here on the patio, and it is Groundhog's Day, and I want to flash back to 2011. Coming up in Maine weather, we're going to talk about this day, this infamous blizzard that we had in 2011, where we had 6 to 15-foot snow drifts. That's coming up. All right, Alex, thank you. And with this recent stretch of above average temperatures, organizers with the Frozen Assets Festival will be canceling a number of events scheduled for this weekend. After announcing they would be canceling the Frozen Assets 5K run walk due to concern about safety of the ice, the Clean Lakes Alliance said today they will also be canceling the rest of the festival's on ice events. That includes things like kites on Mendota, snowshoeing, and pond hockey. So we've moved the things that were on the lake two on land here at the Edgewater. We're still going to have UW Physics Lab, Liminology, What's Cooler Than an Ice Cube, skating and hot chocolate, kids' activities, and of course, Madison's largest winter workout, 10 o'clock Saturday morning. And the Clean Lakes Alliance raises money to do projects throughout the community to protect our lakes and has also put $1.4 million back into the community and also provides lake education, advocacy, and citizen monitoring. Well, for some of us, the warm Wisconsin winter has been a nice surprise. But for others, it's hurting business. Maddie Heim spoke with one small business owner who's struggling in Jefferson County. Fort Atkinson's Bait Box on the Rocks is just one of the several small businesses in Wisconsin that relies on winter recreation to stay open. 
Brian Hoosier owns the local bait shop and says there's typically a two month span of ice fishing in the area and in turn two months of profit. But this year he said he got about a week and a half of good business. He orders inventory months ahead of time so irregular weather creates a significant loss. If I can turn over this deficit and by the end of this year be even at square zero or at, at even, I, I would consider that a success. Hoosier was also forced to cancel an ice fishing event he hosts each year that was slated for next weekend. But the financial loss isn't unique to him. Seasonal businesses in northern Wisconsin are reporting 75 to 80 percent less revenue than last year's January totals. Reporting in Jefferson County, I'm Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. Governor Tony Eber is signing off on a 4% pay raise for building trades employees at UW-Madison and other universities of Wisconsin. The move comes roughly two months after the System Board of Regents approved a deal with Republicans in the state legislature to unlock funding for those raises. In exchange for those raises, you'll recall the UWs will freeze the number of diversity, equity, and inclusion positions across its schools through the year 2026. 32 Dane County deputies will soon be equipped with body-worn cameras as part of a new pilot program. Sheriff Calvin Barrett announced that this morning. Deputies in the West District, which includes the townships of Middleton, Cross Plains, Oregon, and Verona, among others, will be the ones testing out the cameras. Barrett says the pilot program will allow his office to see what works and what needs to change before he hopes to implement the cameras across all deputies. We're measuring what are the best practices, right? When do we activate them? How do we activate them? Also, what are the needs for the, or what are the resources we need to appropriately go through all of the video, to document the video, to get it prepared, not only to, uh, uh, you know, give to the public, but also to the district attorney's office. Dane County will join Madison in the experiment. The city council approved Madison's body cam pilot program last fall. Madison will roll out its program in the North District starting in April. Dane County's program will follow sometime this year. Senator Tammy Baldwin hosted a roundtable in Madison today on the price of some medications. It was held at Access Community Health Center with doctors and patients focusing on the impact of high asthma inhaler prices. Senator Baldwin is part of an investigation into the four biggest inhaler manufacturers in the U.S. The committee behind Behind that investigation alleges they made $25 billion in profit last year. The verdict in New York's civil fraud case against former President Donald Trump could come in the next few weeks. New guidance from court officials suggests the judge could issue a written ruling by mid this month. New York's attorney general says Trump, his two adult sons and his company should pay $370 million. The judge has already ruled Trump engaged in fraud and has ordered the dissolution of his business empire. That action is on hold pending an appeal. A jury in Michigan is considering whether a mother is guilty of four counts of involuntary manslaughter for her son's murders at his high school. Yeah, Jennifer Crumbly and her husband James are the first parents in the U.S. to be charged connected to a school shooting. Michael George reports. It takes the unthinkable. And she has done the unthinkable. In closing arguments, prosecutors ticked through the testimony of every witness, hoping to connect Jennifer Crumbly to the 2021 school shooting her son carried out. This is the last picture that we have of that gun until we see it murder four kids on November 30th. And the person holding it is Jennifer Crumbly. Crumbly's defense attorney reminded jurors of the high burden of proof. If you have just one reasonable doubt about the case, you must vote not guilty. And she challenged the charges against the parent of a school shooter, unprecedented in the U.S. The prosecutor has cherry-picked little bits of evidence out of mountains of evidence. No one expected this. No one could have expected this, including Mrs. Crumbly. Earlier in the day, Crumbly faced cross-examination from prosecutors, questioning her claim she was a helicopter mom. They reminded the jury of her weekend job, her horses, and an affair that pulled her away from parenting in the days leading up to the shooting. Prosecutors also challenged her insistence that her husband, James Crumbly, was in charge of gun safety. You didn't trust him to get out of bed on time. Correct. You didn't trust him to cut the grass. But this is the person you entrusted with a deadly weapon. I did. On the stand Thursday, Crumbly denied knowing her son had mental health struggles. Michael George, CBS News.
Now, Ethan Crumbly pleaded guilty to the school shooting and is serving a life prison sentence. His father, James, faces trial next month. The head of the Federal Aviation Administration will be in the hot seat on Capitol Hill next week. Administrator Mike Whitaker will be testifying in a public hearing before the House Aviation Subcommittee on Tuesday. This marks his first appearance since a door plug blew out of an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 in mid-flight. The incident resulted in that type of aircraft being grounded for nearly three weeks. In a letter, lawmakers on the committee told Whitaker he needs to be prepared to address Boeing's quality control and the FAA's audit of Boeing's production practices. The first Boeing 737 MAX 9 with passengers returned to the air last Friday. Actor Carl Weathers, who rose to fame as Apollo Creed in the Rocky movies, has died. His manager says Weathers died peacefully at his home yesterday. Right now, no cause of death is available. Weathers was a former pro football player who had never boxed before when he auditioned for Rocky. In addition to his role in the Oscar-winning film, he appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows, including Happy Gilmore, Predator, and The Mandalorian. He was also great in Arrested Development. He was 76 years old. Well, test scores are slowly rebounding among American students who suffered educational loss during the pandemic. That's according to a new report released this week by researchers at Harvard and Stanford. The results show test scores in reading and math improved last spring for the first time since the pandemic. Researchers found students have made up a third of what they lost in math and a quarter of what they lost in reading since COVID school shutdowns. Overall, test scores across the country remain lower than before the pandemic. If you're wondering how many years you'll have with your furry companion, a new study examined the lifespans of different dog breeds. Researchers found that small breeds lived longer, 12.7 years on average, compared with 11.9 years for large breeds. I love this file video. And breeds <laughs> with flat faces, the pug there, have shorter lifespans on average than dogs with medium or long snouts. Additionally, female dogs also live slightly longer than male dogs. That pug was giving us a look. <laughs> well, Target has pulled a Black History Month product from its shelves for mislabeling famous black figures. The civil rights magnetic learning activity incorrectly identified W.E.B. Du Bois, Booker T. Washington, and Carter G. Woodson. In a statement to USA Today, Target says it was no longer selling the product and made sure the publisher was aware of the errors. The mistake gained attention after a TikTok user posted about it earlier this week. Tesla is recalling nearly all of its vehicles in the U.S. due to small font sizes on warning lights, which could increase the risk of a crash. Tesla says it's not aware of any crashes or injuries caused by the issue. The recall affects nearly 2.2 million vehicles. Tesla has begun releasing an over-the-air software update to fix the issue free of charge. Well, it's Groundhog Day, and Jimmy the Groundhog made his annual appearance in Sun Prairie today. Yeah, he's a big hit over there. <laughs> we were there for his official prognostication earlier this morning. So I am unable to see my shadow in consideration of this. I therefore proclaim we will have early spring. <laughs> Yay! They always cheer for that one. Sun Prairie Jimmy says it'll be an early start to spring after the overcast skies meant he did not see his shadow. This prediction comes after Jimmy saw his shadow last year. Before that, he predicted an early start to spring in 2021 and 2022. And Sun Prairie Mayor Paul Esser says Groundhog Day has become a big event for his city and also helps local businesses. 500 people out here and that just doesn't happen this time of the year you don't have events that get people out like that so it's fun to get them out it's fun for the businesses to have them in their shops it's just a good morning i love downtown sun prairie it's yeah. a great great little small town wisconsin it's getting bigger this morning's event marked the 76th annual groundhog day celebration there and as officials there always say jimmy he is never wrong if the prediction does not come to pass. It's simply the message was lost in translation when passing along his prognostication to the mayor. You go, Jimmy. Well, this date also marks nine years since, well, this moment in Sun Prairie went viral. Take a look. He, suggest, uh, he says uh, that, uh, that he uh, didn't see a shadow. And um, so it... Uh, Thank you. Uh, it'll be an early spring. Oofta, I could feel that bite. <laughs> it was not pleased no, with that groundhog. No, no, no. Well, this was February 2nd, 2015. Then Sun Prairie Mayor Jonathan Freund was presenting Jimmy the Groundhog during the ceremony. And then, well, you see the critter bit down on his left ear. Freund flinched. I would have too. 
but he soldiered on, announcing Jimmy had predicted an early spring that year. Clearly uncomfortable, but he held it together. Like yeah, yeah. I maybe would have used some yeah. language. <laughs> yeah. A good reaction. Well, next, the nation's employers delivered a stunning burst of hiring for December. How that affected Wall Street. And it's time to nominate your favorite people and places. How to vote in the best of Madison from editor Andy Bailing with Madison Magazine. When we come back. We often get asked, is it really free to hire Gruber Law Offices after an accident? The answer is very simple, yes. We don't get paid until we win your case. It costs you nothing up front to hire Gruber Law Offices. The call, the consultation, all free. You pay nothing until we win your case. It's just that simple. Call us today, Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. A logo can do more than identify your company. It can connect in meaningful ways, energize your team, and inspire your customers. We're for Imprint, and we know your logo on the right product can create moments that matter. With 30 years of experience and thousands of products to choose from, we guarantee your order will be right the first time, on time, and for a great price. Be certain that the right moments will matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. The average cost of hearing aids is nearly $5,000. But now you can buy a full pair of rechargeable, wireless, nearly invisible, easy to use, and comfortable hearing devices for only $99. But only from Audion. It's easy to use. They're small. A pair of $99 Audion Atoms can be sold over the phone without having to see a doctor or audiologist. Call to order. 1-800-617-3809. We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. More ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Oh, this still kind of hurts. Last mm. night, all momentum came to a halt for the Wisconsin basketball team. This was tough. We were yelling in the newsroom. <laughs> it was lost in Lincoln and Nebraska. It was tough to take. Badgers controlled this thing for the first 20 minutes and then some. And then Nebraska came out of the gate swinging after halftime, outscoring the Badgers 40-24 to in the second half. It went to overtime, but it was all Cornhuskers. Nebraska would win 80-72, to continuing their success there at home in Lincoln. On this week's taping of the Wisconsin Huddle, Tyler Wall joined sports director Zach Hanley, where he knew it was going to be a tough environment out in Lincoln against a good team. They've only lost there once, once this season, so we're going into a into a good environment with a, a good team. I know they've won a lot of good games, but uh, they got us there last year, and we definitely don't take that lightly. Your fans get so into the Huskers out there. That place was crazy last night. Badgers back in action Sunday against Purdue. Tip-off set for noon right here on CBS. Make sure to tune into tonight's Wisconsin Huddle as well. Starts at 6.30 right after News 3 Now at 6.
A new report on jobs is stunning Wall Street today. Despite many companies announcing cutbacks, hiring in January actually came in much higher than anticipated. In all, the U.S. economy added 353,000 jobs last month, almost double what economists expected. The big job numbers come as many major corporations actually announced layoffs. The number of tech companies from Google to TikTok are scaling back. A CBS News business analyst says workers who lost jobs in tech should consider shifting industries. I think that you've got to look at where there is job growth, look at the skill set you have, and apply those skills to the areas of the economy that continue to grow. Also in the jobs report, the average hourly workers saw their shifts cut to just 34 hours a week. Experts say struggling companies often scale back hours before they cut jobs. The new report shows the unemployment rate remained near historic lows at 3.7%. That combined with good reports from technology companies sent stocks soaring today. The Dow Industrials gained 134 points, the Nasdaq 267, and the S&P closed on another record high after a 52-point gain. Well, a famous owl is taking the big apple by storm a year after making a daring escape from the Central Park Zoo. Flacco broke free back on February 22nd, uh, 2nd of 2023 after vandals cut open his steel mesh cage. And since then, bird watchers have captured the Eurasian eagle owl exploring new neighborhoods hooting atop water towers, even peering into apartment windows in the city. He was the underdog from the start. People did not expect him to survive. And he has not only survived, he is thriving. That was a rather dramatic narration. Zoo officials give a <laughs> initially tried to recapture Flacco, fearing he would starve, but have suspended those efforts, as the owl has proven to be quite comfortable as a New Yorker. Well, look at that. Having the best time. Looking in your no <laughs> privacy, folks. <laughs> well, for 43 years, Madison Magazine has hosted the annual Best of Madison Readers Poll. Always a fun thing to read. The nominations are open right now, and you can vote for your Madison favorites in dozens of categories. Okay, this year's poll has two important updates. The editor of Madison Magazine, Andy Bailing, is back with us. Hello. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks yeah. for being on. Yeah, we've got two, two big updates mm -hmm. this year, and it's really an exciting time for the small businesses and local names that show up. They're getting out the word right now, but... Um, our two changes this year are actually to the voter experience. One is a better user experience on the website. We had some feedback last year that it was a tough time getting to the ballot and then a tough time navigating it. We have it on a, a brand new URL and it should be a much better experience in that regard. Um, and then we actually did take a, a fine tooth comb through our category list. It was getting kind of mm -hmm. big. Um, we were at 185 some wow, categories. Yeah, that's a lot of work. It's <laughs> a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, of, it's a lot of scrolling. So we took out about 35 to 40 categories and we're at a much more palatable 150 categories now, but feeling good. It's nowhere near the 29 categories we started with 43 years ago in 1981. It, there was only 29 categories that first year. Oh, so, so it's, it's grown so much, but streamlining is important. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So, it, I, and it's unfortunate some people are going to be upset that some of the categories aren't there anymore. Um, but uh, you know, there's we we take those concerns and, and consider that for next mm -hmm. year as well. Um, but even so, there's some new category new categories mm -hmm. on the list. Yeah, what are here. those? Yeah, we've got um, a CSA is a new category. Pastry Chef um, was another one. Uh, best local farm. We wow. gotta give some love to our farmers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, best law firm and a couple of others. Okay. So best hair. Yeah. Is best hair on Brady, there? Brady Mallory. It's not on there, but it should be. Oh, well, there's only one guy year. in the category. <laughs> yeah. You, you could give me a run. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, this is a great way for businesses really take a lot of pride in this. You go, in, I like to go into the businesses and I see that they hang their plaque and all that. It's really cool. It is cool. When you go into a lot of local businesses, mm -hmm. it's cool to see how many how many posters they have up from the best of Madison. It's a point of pride for sure, but Absolutely. also a time to, yeah. to really recognize our, our local businesses here in town that are doing some great work. And we have the Hallmark category still. We've got best restaurant, best local band, best TV personality, which News 3 now often shows Char up Charlotte in. Charlotte always carries it. <laughs> just ride her coattails. You just need an email to, to cast your vote. You right? do, yep. It, there is a little a short process that you have to register your email just so our third party voting system knows that you're not trying to stuff the ballot. Um, and also, this is just the first phase of this. It's the nomination period, the month of February, and then final voting happens in June, and this appears in our October issue. I love right. this. It gets it's people fun. involved in Madison. And yeah, it really it's does. like a guidebook basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. And we have a big party in October too, which is so much fun. Always cool, right?
recognizing yeah. those winners. Great to have you here. Yeah, I know you. it's a busy time. Start counting those votes. Best of Madison is underway. Andy, thank you. Thanks. Oh, uh, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, not only have they fired up interest in NFL football, well, they're also catching the attention of conspiracy theorists. We'll show you this after Alex's weekend forecast. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows, because when you buy two, you, you get, get two, two free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. That's a great deal. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Need life insurance? Select Quote found Jacob, 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Select Quote, we shop, you save. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. This Valentine's Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. Take a look at this. Scramble named by the Connecticut General Assembly as the most accurate weather predicting duck in the northern hemisphere. <laughs> Forecast an early start to spring today. Scramble's prediction was read out by a duck handler in Hartford. The decree was followed by a series of quacks from <laughs> Scramble himself. I'm glad Alex is here. I always joke that the groundhog Jimmy is Gary's nemesis and he didn't Gary's retiring next month, but he didn't want to work his last groundhog day. Well, Gary's it's a special day in the weather department. But Gary's gonna enjoy the the, the game tonight. <laughs> yeah, so he, 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 enjoy, he, he should enjoy his day off. But I gotta say, maybe Jimmy's following the first warm weather forecast. He does. How about he that? Is. He's been watching all this melting. <laughs> we got really warm temperatures in the forecast. That's all coming up in a flashback to 2011. The biggest and best RV event in the Midwest is back. It's the Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale. See a huge selection of RVs and campgrounds under one roof. Meet Gilbert Brown, Gridiron Great. Tickets just $10 and kids are free. Seniors, you're welcome at half price on Friday. Enjoy the great outdoors at the Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale at the Alliant Energy Center Friday through Sunday, February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Want a flatter, tighter tummy? 
Then check out new Ab EX from Sono Bello. Doctor, after my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me really self-conscious. It's not your fault. That stubborn fat and excess skin is very difficult to get rid of with diet and exercise alone. That's exactly why I went to Sono Bello. I really trust their team of experts, and I finally got the flat stomach I had always wanted. Introducing Ab EX from Sono Bello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. Ab EX is a great alternative to a tummy tuck because that overhang you mentioned becomes flat and tight fast with minimal downtime. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation now to learn more about Ab EX by Sono Bello. Call 1-888-285-6876 or go to sonobello.com. A logo can do more than identify your company. It can connect in meaningful ways, energize your team, and inspire your customers. We're for Imprint, and we know your logo on the right product can create moments that matter. With 30 years of experience and thousands of products to choose from, we guarantee your order will be right the first time, on time, and for a great price. Be certain that the right moments will matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. Now's the time for a new Leisure Concepts hot tub, so check out this amazing special purchase. This six by seven foot hot tub seats four adults beautifully, has a powerful three horse jet pump, LED lights, 24 stainless steel jets, and a thick winterproof cover. The best part, right now it's just $59.95, and that includes delivery and training. Just $59.95 for all this. Get to Leisure Concepts ASAP and get yours delivered now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. As I was saying earlier, just before the break, I think Jimmy might be copying the first Warren weather team's forecast. We've been tracking mild weather for days and it's still in the cards here. Although a little patchy fog tonight and then the next chance of precipitation a week from now in the form of rain, not snow, rain. Temperatures in the 30s across all of Dane County. We got 35 in Madison, 36 to the west in Middleton. We got a 37 to the west in Boscobel, 38, 38 up to the north and to the west in Black River Falls. And our friends in Janesville sitting at 37. Plan in the evening. I was just outside in the patio. We're getting a couple of breaks in the skies. Temperatures falling into the upper 20s. That's the normal high temperature for this time of year. But we are tracking the potential for some patchy fog tonight. So beware of that. Again, low beams, not the high beams. If you happen to move through one of these patches of dense fog. As we march forward here to midnight, our future track visibility model showing visibility is dropping in Madison, Mineral Point, and Wisconsin Dells. Then as we go on through the rest of the evening, it expands across the rest of southern Wisconsin where we could be looking at those visibilities dropping down. We'll be keeping an eye on this tonight. Definitely tune in at 6 and at 10. We'll see if we get any dense fog advisories issued for the area. But look at that. By the time we get to noon on your Saturday, it all burns off. The sun should start to filter through that patchy dense fog and up go the temperatures. Speaking of how warm temperatures are going to be as we carry out into the middle of February, our friends at the Climate Prediction Center, they're still saying, look at this, February 10th through the 16th, above normal temperatures for a good two thirds of the country and for the month of February. It's looking as though conditions are going to remain above normal here. Temperatures in the 40s to start off your week approaching 50 by the time we get to Wednesday. Look at Thursday, 53 degrees, low temperatures in the 40s. Our lows are going to be 15 degrees above normal from our highs. That's just how warm this weather is going to be. Thanks, Jay, uh, uh, David from Janesville here showing us this filtered moon picture. We might be seeing a little bit of that tonight. Filtered sunshine here. Thanks, Bill, for sending us that photo from Madison. Now, speaking of photos, let's look at this, Eric and Brady. 2011. This is the studio. Is that Cars. Here? Yeah, that's here. Cars are buried. Yes, 13 years ago on this day was part three of a three-day snowstorm 
where we had over 18 inches of snow. Woof. This is the patio. I was just out on the patio with that drift, six to 15 feet uh, drifts across southern Wisconsin. We had wind gusts approaching 60 miles per hour. Again, this started on January 31st, then carried on through the first and carried on into the second with total amounts here. Look at this in southern Wisconsin. Man. Seven to nine inches up towards Marquette and Green Lake counties. We had that band of 15, 16, 17, 18 inches here in Madison. You get a little bit of that lake effect snow down by Milwaukee and they had two feet. I don't remember that I was here. I don't remember, I'm sure I hated it. You're probably putting blinders up at that point. You're in the middle of winter. I don't want any more we snow. We had a couple of those winters <laughs> back about that time that were yep. awful. Well, that must have been one of them. Yep. 2007, 2008 was a big <laughs> no, one. I probably too. just done it <laughs> trying to get into work. All right, Alex, thank you. For sure. Well, America's favorite couple is pop superstar Taylor Swift and Kansas City Chief star Travis Kelsey. I think I've heard of Did them. Did you know they were together? Yeah, yeah, I guess a little bit soon. But the intention on their relationship is also inspiring some truly bizarre conspiracy theories online. Yeah, some on the far right are claiming the two are part of some kind of liberal plot to swing the election to Joe Biden. So how do these made-up theories spread so quickly? Jolene Kent has the story. A pop icon dating a superstar athlete. Mix in a trip to the Super Bowl, and you have the ingredients for an alt-right conspiracy built for the age of the internet. So is Swift a front for a covert political agenda? Right-wing media outlets have spent weeks parroting the baseless claims that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are at the center of a liberal plot against former President Donald Trump. Build them up, and then at the moment of truth, they're going to endorse Biden. But the bad blood between Taylor Swift and Team Trump goes back years. In 2018, she endorsed two Democrats in Tennessee. That says that I like Taylor's music about 25% less. And during the 2020 election, she threw her support behind Joe Biden. Their meteoric rise in popularity in recent months has riled up some Trump diehards, including former GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy, leading many to speculate without evidence that the Super Bowl outcome is, quote, rigged to give Swift a bigger platform to endorse Biden again. How quickly did these conspiracy theories proliferate? So these will typically start to simmer in the dark web and kind of the fringes and underbelly of the internet. And then at some point, uh, they gain traction around other events. In this case, it was the Super Bowl. Wasim Khaled is the CEO of Blackbird AI, a company that monitors disinformation. Khaled showed us how his company's AI-driven platform has been tracking conspiracies about Swift and Kelsey for months. So here we actually see that spread. We see it snowballing and we can actually see a narrative evolve, grow, and become more harmful over time. In fact, often when we color code something red, they could be bot-like activities. This is proof that social media can take a, a kernel of a lie and turn it into an entire coin on the cob. Longtime pollster Frank Luntz believes that Trump and his base may have turned on Swift because they worry about her influence on the younger electorate. Last year, more than 35,000 new voters signed up in one day after Swift encouraged her Instagram followers to register to vote. Jolene Kent, CBS News. And next, a look at a new animated movie that dropped today on Netflix. And then at 5, Madison's interim school superintendent looks at what parents should expect for busing next year. That's at the top of the hour. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on February 16th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. Want to instantly look more attractive, years younger, and even healthier? The solution is whiter teeth. Even teeth that are just a little yellow are a problem. They rob your appearance, make you look older, and can hurt your confidence but you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. So from that point on, I've been sold. My absolute favorite thing was how easy it was. It takes literally less than five minutes. Power Swabs has made a really big difference in lifting the stains and making my smile more beautiful. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application and 
After five minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Plus, unlike other whitening methods, power swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays, and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> it's time to discover what you've been missing. Now, it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off this Valentine's Day. You'll also receive the Power Swabs Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will also get free shipping. Order right now and take the Power Swabs 5 Minute Challenge. If your teeth aren't a full two shades whiter after your first application, simply return it and you'll get your money back. The acid reflux felt like just the worst burning in your throat that you can imagine. It's almost like a fire in your throat. The LACE procedure was one of the best decisions I've made. It has changed my life and the burning is gone. New at five, we take a deeper look at how these warmer winter days are impacting businesses that rely on the cold. We'll hear from an owner who said he will be happy if he breaks even. Clouds will slowly fade away overnight tonight with some patchy fog possible, but that will pave the way for a much sunnier period ahead. Join me tonight at five for the latest on near record warm temperatures just days away. And ahead at six, Dane County deputies will now have body cameras. It's part of a new pilot program. We'll check out the potential impact on transparency and community relations tonight at six. Live look at the Capitol on this Friday evening. As Alex mentioned, the feel of spring is in the air across. So close. And it's still light out. Let's rejoice that. In that is really something nice this time of the year that I ne never get tired of seeing daylight at 4 or 5 o'clock. All right, everyone's afraid of something, right? But what do you do when you're afraid of everything? Hide. Well, David Daniel has a look at a family film about facing your fears. Good night, Orion. <laughs> but all the things I'm afraid of. I'm most afraid of the dark. A boy with a long list of fears meets his biggest in Orion and the Dark, based on a popular children's book. You come watch me do my job for one night, and you'll finally see that I'm nothing to be afraid of. Jacob Tremblay says plenty of people will relate to his character. Especially Orion has really, like, overdramatic, you know, kind of anxieties. But I think everyone, everyone in, in, a, in a way has their own. Orion, I'm going to get you to overcome your fears if it kills me. And I'm immortal, by the way, so I've got all the time in the world. Emmy winner Paul Walter Hauser puzzled over what kind of voice the dark should have. Abrasive and sort of uh, animated, for lack of a more on-the-nose term. Uh, and then at the same time, it can be vulnerable, and, and you realize that this is a guy who's kind of hurting and feels misunderstood. Every day I bring brightness and hope to the world, and you bring the exact opposite. Uh, whatever. The filmmakers found it tough pitching characters like quiet and dark. We have a character, we don't want to hear her very well. For, for a studio, that's like, what? Yeah. And we have a dark, and we don't want to see him very well. And they're like, what? You really think you can fix everything I'm afraid of in one night? One night can change everything. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Seems like a good family film. Yeah. Orion and the Dark is available on Netflix starting today. Up next, the Super Bowl is just nine days away, and one of every football fan's favorite pastimes is second-guessing the coach. I love doing that. <laughs> next, do. we talk to a mathematics expert about the metrics that go into some of those decisions, like, you know, when to go for two, when to go for it. She'll join us to talk numbers next at four. Interested in an electric vehicle? Bergstrom has the largest selection of electric vehicles and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Bergstrom Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. 
it can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as 14 days. Now I can help again. <laughs> feel the difference with Nervive. Do you feel stuck in a cold and drafty home? Well, there's a better solution than just turning up the heat. Because heating your home is by far the most expensive part of your energy bills. At USA Insulation, we fix cold homes. Most houses are built with builder's grade insulation. So when we fill your walls with our high efficiency foam, your house stays warm without turning up the heat, which saves you a lot of money. And right now, we can insulate your home for as little as $99 per month. USA Insulation. Your logo can identify your company, inspire your customers, and energize your team. We're for Imprint, and we can help your logo create moments that matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. Join the media sales team at Television Wisconsin and be part of something bigger. If you're passionate about helping local businesses succeed, apply today at channel3000.com. We're not just hiring, we're building careers. to dwellings. Shop our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. All right, folks, if you have not hit the belt line yet, eastbound, it is a slow go eastbound, 25 miles per hour, all the way down to 12 miles per hour. This just popped up just here during the break. Incident as you head east on 12 over towards the 39 exchange, potentially a crash or an incident that we will be investigating here. And that's probably why we're seeing that eastbound lane down at 12 miles per hour. So if you have any traveler, you know anybody who's traveling eastbound on the belt line right now, it is a very, very slow go. Moving down to the south and towards the east, towards Janesville. Things are doing okay. We've got about 70 mile per hour speed here. That is the speed limit. And how are things doing up here in the Dells? We've got 70 miles per hour. So again, overall, less 12 east on the belt line. Things are going okay from a traffic standpoint. Later on tonight, though, heads up, could be looking at some patchy fog. Well, if you're looking to invest in sports history, this collection of sneakers was worn by Michael Jordan in each of his six NBA championships, and they could be yours. The lot dubbed the Dynasty Collection is up for auction at Sotheby's, but you better bring your A game. The auction house estimates their value at between seven That's and ten million dollars. Is that it? The mm. Michael Jordan. Unbelievable. Fun. Well, have you ever screamed at a TV at a Packers game or Badgers <laughs> asking, why is the coach doing this or that? And then the announcer says some, you know, gibberish about metrics or analytics. Well, Laura Albert is an expert on mathematical modeling from UW Madison. She's here to talk a little bit more about the numbers behind these decisions. Laura, great to have you with us here. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. We're a few days out. So, you know, this is something we all yell about. We've seen kind of a change, though, mm -hmm. in recent years. I think it was about eight years ago the NFL moved that extra point back. So mm -hmm. whether to go for two or not is, you know, they have to have their cheat sheets, mm -hmm. right? So it's different now than it was a few years ago. It was, and before, it was kind of boring going for the extra point because they were making it 99.5% uh -huh. of the time. So it took about 200 extra point attempts before they missed one. And now it's down to what, like 93, right? About, yes, 93, 95%. Mm -hmm. um, so before that change, it, was more, it was, really was a toss up between going for two or um, kicking the extra point. And it became a little bit better since they moved it back and the two point, or the going for one wasn't as successful. 
<laughs> so, go ahead. Yeah, well, let's say, like, the Packers hire you, and uh, <laughs> is there a big piece of advice that you would give Matt LaFleur on all this? <laughs> Well, one of my pet peeves is when they say that analytics tells you to do mm -hmm. something, and math doesn't tell us to do something. We're humans, we have decisions, a lot of it still is situational, and the math is incredibly informative. And so we're seeing that it makes sense to go for two a lot more than it did before mm. because teams are getting a little bit better mm -hmm. at okay. being successful when they go for two and a little less successful when they try to kick, kick the extra point. But still, in most situations, it's not going to change the chance that you win a game by more than 1%. Really? It's that small? But right. is, is, is it, everything got to be thought out, though, a little bit, right? There's yes. situations. You got to, how good are we at making two-pointers? How good is our kicker? All that stuff's got to come into play, right? Exactly. So the situation matters, and two big factors are the point differential and the time left in the game. Mm -hmm. And so that's a lot of times what we focus on. Uh, but you look at specific teams, that makes a big difference. In the playoffs, these are better teams than average. They're better at making the two-point conversion, but also defending against it. And all that comes into a play. What about going for it on fourth down? That's really become yeah. a big thing lately because guys will go for it when it's fourth and six. And t NFL kickers are really, really good. Trust me, they're good. But they go for it more than ever now, too, right? Yes, they do. And, so, and even when they're in, within field goal range, mm -hmm. and if you look at the numbers that drive that, and there, there's a mathematical reason for that. One is you can, you're can you more likely to get a touchdown if you make it, especially fourth and short. There's a good chance that those uh, teams convert quite a bit, more than 50% of the time. And they can also increase the probability that they make that field goal because they're not kicking it so far. And, and that can make a difference when you're looking at a long field goal attempt. It's hard to believe unless you crunch the numbers. And I love crunching the numbers. I was going to say, <laughs> can you imagine watching the game with her? Now, you're a football fan, too, not just a, a math whiz. But what, when you're watching a game, are you breaking down the analytics saying, oh, they shouldn't do this. This isn't. How does it work? Yes, I do. And I do have a, I did write a post a few years ago when the Packers lost in the playoff of questioning and mathematically proving that some of the decisions were not the was best. Was that the one when Lafleur got a field goal and they still needed a touchdown? Remember that one? Everybody thought, oh, they should have gone for the touchdown. He kicked the field goal to get within yes. seven so they could tie it and get the ball back. But. That was that was the one. And yeah, he's not going to hire me at this point <laughs> once he reads that post. But <laughs> I have, I'm still stuff. available. I have one important question. Did you know Reba McIntyre is singing the <laughs> national anthem at the Super Bowl? I had to get that in. Oh, I, I do now. <laughs> oh, good. I thought That's it was all about Taylor Swift at the Super well, Bowl. Not, not with uh, me. Not with him. It's all about Reba. Your He's wife loves Reba, too. Yes. So. Huge Reba fans. That's Great to I talk to you. Reba. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Try to just, you know, have wings like the rest of the... She sits and analyzes it all. Yeah, she knows all the numbers. You can have snacks. Laura, great to have you with us. Thank you for stopping by. And we'll be right back after this. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Menards is the one-stop shop for everything you need. Clean up your space with help from Rubbermaid. This industrial-strength 32-gallon trash can is built to withstand intense sunlight and freezing temperatures. Get this trash can and lid for $19.99. Get the floor of your dreams with our huge selection of Shaw flooring. Waterproof vinyl plank offers the look of real wood without the worry. This Citadel vinyl plank flooring is $248 a square foot. Save big money at the Nards. It's the annual RV show and sale you don't want to miss at Interstate RV, February 2nd through the 4th. Great RV show pricing just up the road, Highway 51, Poinette. Attention Wisconsin residents, if you're looking for individual or family dental coverage and want a dental plan that fits your needs, Momentum Insurance can help. We are a locally owned Madison-based insurance company and a trusted provider of all dental insurance needs with friendly, helpful customer service and high value in coverage and cost. To learn more or enroll, visit our website, MomentumPlans.com. That's MomentumPlans.com. Momentum Plans, dental insurance you can smile about. A surprise from Southern Wisconsin and Grammy gift bags, Sunday. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. If I can, by the end of this year, be even at square zero or at, at even, I, I would consider that a success. 
News 3 Now takes a deeper look at how this warmer weather is impacting businesses that rely on the cold in just a few moments. On the next Wisconsin Huddle, Tyler Wall joins Zach at the desk and talks about the Badgers' top 10 ranking. Then Zach challenges the UW hockey standout to a game of checkers. Friday night at 6.30 on the next Wisconsin Huddle. All right, a pretty nice evening out there with partly cloudy skies, temperatures dipping down into the upper 20s. That's normal high temperatures for this time of year. Although as we go into the overnight period, some patchy fog is a possibility. You may be waking up to that on your Saturday morning. Once that burns on off, look at that. Temperatures in the 40s will do 50s by the middle of next week. There's no sign of winter anywhere to be seen in this 10 day forecast. Well, tomorrow, well, no, Monday. Monday, tomorrow, yeah, it's Saturday. Friday. Monday, I'm live at four with the Super Bowl. Uh, Sunday, we will explore the legalized betting and how that affects both fans and the game itself. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Pick and Save, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win, win, win. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. The Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale is back. Enjoy the great outdoors at the Alliant Energy Center Friday through Sunday, February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Salon Pos, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pos, it's good medicine. He sent me to a logo can do more than identify your company. It can connect in meaningful ways, energize your team, and inspire your customers. We're for Imprint, and we know your logo on the right product can create moments that matter. With 30 years of experience and thousands of products to choose from, we guarantee your order will be right the first time, on time, and for a great price. Be certain that the right moments will matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. It's replacement window season. Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two Champion windows, get, get two, two free? free? I guess that means if you buy four, you, you get, get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six, six free. free. Buy 10, get, get 10, 10 free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Attention railroaders, if you're a current or former railroad worker and have been diagnosed with cancer, call 1-800-LAW-HELP. Your cancer may be linked to the type of work you did, the conditions you worked under, or the chemicals to which you were exposed. Federal law requires the railroad to protect its workers from these dangers and to compensate them for injuries or illnesses that develop as a result. If you or your loved one are a current or former railroad worker diagnosed with any form of cancer, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Call 1-800-LAW-HELP now. Call for action only on News 3 Now. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Pick and Save, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. In tonight's final touch, Valentine's Day, less than two weeks away, but not everyone has a significant other to celebrate with. So if you're feeling petty and maybe want to seek revenge on your last lover, look no further than the San Antonio Zoo. For a $10 donation, you can symbolically name a roach after your ex. <laughs> and zookeepers will feed it to one of the animals. It's called Cry Me a Cockroach Fundraiser. Alternatively, you can have a rat named after your ex for $25. Now, to participate, you'll just need to submit your ex's name online before Valentine's Day. I'm not doing that. You know what? I'm spending that money on me. Yeah, that's, not, that's a little harsh, but <laughs> at least they get him interested in the lowly cockroach at the San Antonio Zoo. So. Yeah. Oh, bless. <laughs> it's trying to get away. Brady, have a great weekend. Yes, thank you. News Now at 5 starts right now.